Hello guys, welcome to Tech Economist and in this video series we will be seeing a lot of uh, lectures regarding uh, the economic concepts and uh, first we are going to discuss about the uh, agricultural production economics. So before going into the uh, economics, I, I just don't, uh, don't want to explain all the things but let me just give you a short uh, uh, brief support economics. Uh, so in world the peoples we can classify for example you can uh, classify the peoples into three categories one is household or uh, individuals second is firms third is government so each and every people will be having some will so the, uh, for example they they are in need of want want in, in the sense in economics we will be saying as they need something want so they are in uh, need of some uh, commodities, some goods, some for example electronic goods, uh, groceries, makeup items and uh, uh, dressing things like this. So there are wants for the people. So how they are classified and uh, uh, based on this classification, uh, how they are uh, satisfied with the wants. So it is done by the firms. The firms are the companies or the uh, uh, entrepreneurs who satisfies the uh, uh, the peoples uh, that is the households so how they satisfy they produce the goods and they supply to them so this is a, a simple concept as you all know and uh, what does what does the government place here okay let us uh, come into the topic so production production in the sense in simple we can say that an raw material or an input has been converted into a finished goods or an output so this is in simple we can say as production so the input are the raw materials so it may be of a renewable energy resources or non-renewable resources so whatever the things used it will be are under a renewable or non-renewable for example to make a paper there are different uh, trees which are species which are used to uh, for making a paper so if the trees are cut down entirely then what would be the uh, condition of our environment so it is a uh, uh, doubt and it uh, it is a large issue so in this kind of things the government involves in uh, rules and regulations of these uh, for uh, these resources and it uh, acts as a bridge between the households and the firms so these are the three categories we can classify the world so uh, you got point so let me get into the agriculture production economics so production uh, you know so economics you, you know we are going to discuss in simple uh, economics would be knowing uh, should it, which will be telling about as uh, uh, allocation of resources so there, there are different resources how these resources should be allocated for producing a commodity or for utilizing it so this will be uh, will be involved in this economics and uh, this agriculture production economics it is uh, nothing but the choice of decision making so there are different types or different methods used for uh, doing things so yeah, the main emphasis or the main thing we need to consider is choice of decision making for example the input which is uh, processed and it has given us an output so this is nothing uh, the production process which involves so we are going to discuss about this in the let us see for example let us consider an agricultural example so this is the land labor and capital so these three are the factors of production so they are uh, factors which are involved in the production of some agricultural commodity for example let us say so for me i've, I've not given all the inputs but I, i've taken only the three factors which are uh, main uh, reason uh, which are main for the production of uh, any commodity in the agriculture so this land labor capital the farmer uses those as factors and using those factors the maize is produced or harvested by the farmer and it is sold so this is a simple thing so for example uh, the satisfaction which is gained by the peoples for example for uh, from buying a uh, commodity or uh, for example if you are willing to buy an iphone and you if you bought the iphone so the feelings or the satisfaction which you get from uh, attaining it which is uh, utility so uh, there are uh, different kinds of utility which are formed during this process first is form utility which is nothing but the transformation or the conversion of a particular raw material into a finished product for example i would like to say an example uh, uh, 
uh, in homes mom, mom will be uh, making some snacks at the evening times uh, let us take in a south indian example uh, bonda you know not right bonda so uh, for like for which uh, there are uh, different raw materials which are needed one is uh, flour water salt paper or uh, uh, this is a basic thing uh, okay so with this he she will be making some bondas so the form utility is nothing but the transformation of a raw material into some of the finished product and the place utility place utility in the sense the for example the manufactured goods from uh, america or some somewhere else it, which is transferred and bought to or imported to india which which involves a place utility so the transportation which and all takes place in or uh, comes under the place utility then time utility for example if the commodities are uh, stored for a year uh, or uh, like buffer stocks it is stored for years it it creates the time utility position utility in the sense if i am having 3 tons of paddy and i am selling the 3 tons of paddy to someone else so the ownership gets transferred from myself to another so this comes under the position utility uh, you got some of the uh, basic concepts and uh, next is the objective what would be the main objective of this uh, uh, studying of uh, production economics or agriculture production economics so let us assume you are a uh, business person and you are the you are running in a uh, industry so what would be your main goal or objective one is uh, maximization of profit so every individual in a sorry every entrepreneur or every ceo or every person of a business he will be maximizing the profit he, uh, his main goal is be maximization of profit okay the next one is minimization of cost we will be discussing about how it can get maximized and these things in future slides and uh, minimization of cost which in the sense includes that uh, for example yeah again the same bonda concept uh, for example there are three children in a in a home and uh, the mom you uh, wants to make bonda for her snacks evening snack so there is a 25 kg of flours with her and uh, uh, she want to prepare bonda for her uh, children so what she will be doing other she is going to use the entire 25 kg of bonda for making a uh, bonda for the three people no so she will be taking a certain quantity of inputs and water a pinch of salt a yeah, pepper which will be mixed and it will be fried and put up so she will not be using entire input uh, for example entire uh, flour will not be used so if she uses entire flour it is of no uh, it is of waste you can understand i think so so the cost the usage of input should be minimized the cost of uh, usage of uh, input should be minimized and the sec third one is optimization so optimization in this we will be discussing about uh, uh, in terms of quantities so uh, the same uh, quantities for example uh, there are uh, uh, there are 10 peoples assume that there is only 10 peoples and there is a firm one firm and 10 peoples are there so in among the 10 peoples only three of them are needed of the product which are produced by the firm so the firm is producing 10 products the firm is producing 10 products and available in the market so what will be happening only the three will be buying the product and rest of the seven will not be buying the product because they don't want let us assume this uh, this is an example okay so rest of the seven is waste so the, the optimization the quantities how uh, how much it should be produced should be known so next one is main question so you you might have seen maximization minimization of cost and optimization so these are the objectives so which are again repeated as what to produce this is a main concept and main concern for each and every producer either it may be a farmer or it may be an entrepreneur or someone else anyone else he must be knowing how what to produce so the peoples will be liking some of the particular products and if you are not producing that product then they will not be buying so what to be produced for the peoples should be known and second one is how to produce it so there there are different concepts which can be different concepts or methods uh, which can be used to produce a single commodity in different methods so you should be knowing how to produce it because 
as we know minimization of cost is also in mind so to minimization of cost least cost uh, the input should be used at the least cost we will be discussing that in later and the third one is how much to produce so you should not produce exceeding the demand so demand is nothing but what are the people's the number of people's uh, uh, want of a product which will be simply <laughs> you can uh, think of as demand so next uh, what to produce okay so what to produce in the sense uh, the resource allocation resource in the sense as i initially said the inputs are uh, raw materials and uh, outputs which are the finished goods so the resources should be allocated properly and here comes the uh, uh, one important concept opportunity cost so i'll be discussing this in a particular pre uh, uh, a particular video so for uh, here you just understand what is an opportunity cost the cost equivalent to the returns from the next next best alternative for gun for this is nothing but if a farmer has resources for example he has some inputs so he can use those input for uh, cultivation of a fish or he can use the same input for cultivation of paddy it is not a correct example but assume that there are two uh, outputs which can be produced from a single input so the farmer is deciding to go for producing of paddy so that is nothing but the cost equal to the returns from the next best alternative is here the fish is the next best alternative so the cost equal to the returns from that is considered as the opportunity cost so next how much to, how to produce it so how to produce it here so planning different combination of resources uh, without affecting the output for example you know how to produce it uh, what to produce it next one uh, for example you, if you are keeping an uh, quantity how much to be produced so you uh, you you will not be changing the output quantity but you will be changing the inputs a different combination of inputs so uh, using that you will be attaining the output here comes the another concept called least cost combination uh, in this concept will be uh, used only if the resources are scarce scarce in the sense least available or minimally available so this concept also i will be taking in uh, future classes so opportunity cost and least cost combination i will be taking in the uh, few coming slides coming uh, videos so the third one would be ah uh, sorry how much to produce so the quantity and to ensure the resource use efficiency and maximization of profit so first two points will be coming over here so the maximization of profit minimization of cost so that would be the minimization of cost would be uh, the different way how, how to produce it or the resource use efficiency these are the three concepts i think you can get uh, the points these are the major and uh, most important points the uh, next so here also same thing will be repeated <laughs> uh, the name will be differing but the entire concept will be the same if you uh, learned about the if you know about the objectives then everything is fine and simple so factor factor relationship with this nothing but the inputs uh, the input input relationship which will be uh, for example uh, factor factor in the sense uh, among the uh, there are different inputs as i initially said different inputs which can be used for making a single product so uh, how we can say in the sense uh, the chapati can be made with the wheat flour uh, and uh, you, even the maida can be mixed up and it can be used so this kind of uh, things will be used so this is our uh, we will be discussing in next the next video will be on factor factor relationship and the product product relationship is nothing but the outputs so for example for mobile of in a mobile there are different companies so uh, we are taking we are making a choice among the products so that is the choice of enterprises which is uh, dealt by the product product relationship phone is a product but among them there are different companies and you will be cho choosing among them and then factor product relationship is nothing but how much of input we have used for making an output so initially said 25 kg of flour whether it is uh, completely used up or a little has been used up from it so the factor product the how the resources has been used efficiently will be taken under consideration uh, in factor product relationship so then uh, uh this is the basic concepts you know you should know before entering into the agricultural production economics so
the next simple thing is uh, the characteristics of agriculture goods and industrial goods so uh, i have not taken all the characteristics but to uh, to give you a glimpse i have given some of the uh, uh, characteristics first one is the perishability as you all know agricultural goods are uh, more perishable than uh, uh, industrial goods so due to perishability the price would be varying higher because uh, the storage cannot be done for a long period of time and the uh, so that the prices would be varying very high but uh, when compared to industrial goods it, uh, the storage can be done for a longer period and the the prices would not uh, vary so much and the second one is the seasonality so it cannot be produced throughout the year an agricultural commodity cannot be produced throughout the year but it is not the case in uh, in industrial goods and then joint products for example if you take pa paddy you cannot uh, harvest uh, you cannot uh, produce paddy and straw separately so the both are the joint products uh, and to uh, for example if you are use, if you are, if you want to uh, calculate the cost and returns from the crop you you want to calculate for both paddy and straw you cannot separately calculate but in case of industrial goods it is it is possible to calculate the cost and returns for each and every uh, inputs or the output which is gained from it so but the bulkiness the next major one is the bulkiness for example if you take potatoes it is uh, it it takes huge uh, transportation and storage facilities it it takes so there is a lot of uh, cost which will be going uh, for uh, transportation and storage but it is uh, not so uh, uh, indicatable or uh, noticeable under uh, industrial goods and then the time lag so time lag in the sense uh, the decision taken and the realization of output it is nothing but the harvest time so there will be some time lag between the production decisions and the output to get so this is not in the case of industrial goods if you have the inputs you can go on you can manufacture and uh, come back so weather weather condition it is a main for agriculture and uh, industrial goods it is not considered if there is enough factory it is going to run but uh, in case of agriculture uh, the weather conditions should be uh, permissible for uh, uh, for producing the uh, commodities so thank you guys uh, i think uh, our uh, first session and i hope you have learned something if you like our video please do subscribe and uh, support us for uh, so that we can uh, upgrade ourselves and if you have any doubts or uh, if you have any comments please be uh, open to uh, comment your uh, 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 things thank you